Hi, Dr. David Schiller here, and today we're going to be talking about your Hashimoto's or low thyroid Hashimoto's and your hair loss. And for many women, this is a most, the most concerning symptom that they may have uh, in addition to their weight gain and fatigue and things of that nature. But hair loss can be pretty devastating. Um, and for many women uh, that are initially diagnosed with low thyroid, they go on their thyroid hormone replacement, and for some of them, it, it slows down, if not stops. But for others, it doesn't. And the reason is that uh, there are other factors that could be leading into that hair loss. And certainly, thyroid hormone are essential for the health of the hair follicle. Uh, thyroid receptors are everywhere in the body, including the hair follicle. So if the thyroid hormones are off, um, that certainly can be the issue. And once replaced, uh, that is uh, able to be resolved. Um, the second reason is that there's unresolved inflammation. And when a person has Hashimoto's or an autoimmune reactivity going on, the inflammation that's produced from that autoimmune reactivity, the inflammation produces markers called cytokines, and then the cytokines can block the receptors that the thyroid hormones are supposed to get to. So even though they're replacing the hormones, the thyroid reception from the, the, the hormones are supposed to go to these receptors, but the receptors are being blocked due to cytokines, due to the fact that the person has unresolved inflammation coming from the autoimmune reactivity. So if you haven't been diagnosed with Hashimoto's, that certainly is going to be uh, a key factor in figuring out whether your, your hair loss is coming from that. The most common cause of hair loss in women comes from a hormone called testosterone, where there's too much testosterone circulating. There's an enzyme called 1720 lyase. Um, 1720 lyase. That is activated, and when activated, can cause testosterone production in women too much. I mean, every, men have estrogen and women have testosterone, but when there's imbalances in this enzyme, uh, this enzyme is. is um, triggered by insulin surges. So when there's insulin surges in women, maybe coming from the autoimmune inflammation, or maybe they have an underlying blood sugar issue, the blood sugar issue and the insulin surges coming from that blood sugar issue cause a triggering of this enzyme called 1720 lyase, which then causes production of testosterone, which can cause the uh, hair to become thin or brittle. It can cause your nails to become uh, brittle. So uh, there's many factors coming from the fact that testosterone is out of balance coming from an insulin surge, which could be an underlying blood sugar issue, or from a immune reactivity, an autoimmune reactivity causing inflammation, producing that. Lastly, there could be poor circulation. Uh, as you know, um, for many of you who have thyroid issues, you have cold hands, you have cold feet, you have cold nose, um, you may even, going back to the, the brittle nails, the circulation uh, can also affect the, 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 the nail health. So nails and hair have this, you know, a similar background there coming from keratin. So just know that poor circulation can trigger the hair follicle itself not to get enough blood flow. Just like your hands and your feet are extremities, your head is an extremity. And therefore, if there's poor circulation in general, that can cause the hair follicle not to get enough circulation. In uh, upcoming posts, we'll talk about, talk about poor circulation and how it affects the brain. Therefore, how Hashimoto's is affecting brain function, not just your hair loss. So if you're having hair loss or hair thinning, that is an outward problem you're seeing, but what you're also potentially having is poor circulation to the brain, which can lead into the brain fog and other neurological symptoms. And the inflammation also produced in the body from the autoimmunity creates inflammation in the brain, also causing some of those neurological symptoms. So just know that the hair loss may just be the tip of the iceberg and there may be some other underlying problems. So I hope this information helps and make it a great day.